What's crack like and everyone and welcome back to what is another on the sleep video. Today is part number two to our sword and shield base set booster box. I still can't believe we even got one of these in our possession. But if you haven't seen part number one, obviously go check that out. I give a lot more of my first ever reaction to the set. Basically, this one right here, this is the part where I pull an ultra rare. I do not care what it is. It could be a gold card. It could literally be dipped in silver. Um, but basically all I want is some sort of glitter pattern because I want to see what it's like in English. I pulled a couple of them in, in Japanese and they were really, really nice cards. So I think it'd be super interesting if I can pull my first ever one in English. So that's my goal today. I mean, look, we've got the rest of the booster box. And considering that we're like, that's what an empty booster box looks like, by the way. Stock standard, it's what you guys would have thought. Um, but considering we didn't pull one yesterday, I reckon the chances are pretty high for today. Now I have got to give a massive shout out to Drake and Rose. They hooked it up when they found out this uh, this whole set came out early over in the Asian region. So if you haven't checked them out, I'll link them down below as usual. They got a YouTube channel and Instagram. But let's get this party started, and let's try and go for the glitter card. All right, fire type energy always a good sort of pull. Sums up our pulls pretty well. Hot Flames, got a Rhyhorn, Roselia, Ferro Seed, Krabby, Zigzagoon, Galarian Form, and then Rillaboom Holo card. That's funny as. I will take that. Rillaboom Holo in Japan, it was like the number one most doubled card I ever pulled ever. I got so many of these. I kept getting two Holo Rillabooms per box in every single box. So that's pretty funny we get the first one. Uh, that's our first pull in part number two. I'll take that though. At least we see what it looks like in English. And as I said, this being my first ever opening of the set, and this being the base set of Sword and Shield, you're gonna need every single card. So you're gonna pull at least one of these cards once. Score Bunny, love that. Maractus, Pikachu with that artwork. I mean, I don't know about you guys, I actually kinda dig it. I know what all this beef about like Pikachu's artwork always being different. Some people hate it, I love it though. As well, by the way, I should point out, the reverse pattern. You guys freak out over this. I don't know why this is a huge deal, but yeah, it's all sort of divided. It's a little bit different. It's a cool homage. I think the bigger deal is the fact the yellow is not really dark yellow anymore. The border of each Pokemon card is like a very light yellow. Almost looks washed out with like a fake Pokemon card sort of look, but the cards are sort of thick enough and not photocopied, so you know they're real. All right, Metal Type Energy. Let's get things going. Got a Quick Ball as well. Galventula. Red Balloon or Air Balloon right there. Everyone pay your respects to Wulu, one of the greatest Star Sword and Shield Pokemon. Grookey, Sobble, can we get a score bunny? No, Pal Pad, and then... <gasps> no, no! Oh, go around, look at it! Look at it! Oh my goodness me! Rainbow, VMAX, Snorlax, all of these look... Holy... Aunt Jemima in West Virginia. Sipping on apple tea. Look at that. The camera can't even do this justice. Okay, I gotta do some like close-ups of this because, guys, this is literally a pure glitter card. It's not like we're playing Pokemon cards anymore. It reminds me of, like a Vanguard card or something like really, really out there. I mean, I was expecting glitter, but they've knocked it out the park. This is one of those exceptions where the English version's kind of better than the Japanese version. Dude, even the black part of the card's glitter too. It's the whole thing. Alright, I'm gonna put this at the back. It's so glittery and shiny, it's messing up my camera too. VMAX Snorlax Gigantamaxed. How many maxes can you fit in one card? I don't know. Alright. There's the code card. It's another white and green, dude. Did you see that one? Okay. We got a water type. I told you part number two was going to go off. Pokemon don't just give you a dud booster box. They, they've worked stuff out in the factory. Krogunk. Then we got Galarian Meowth. Salazzle. And then back to back VMAX pulls. And this time, not on the Rainbow Rare Calibre, but it's still a regular VMAX. And oh, mama, that texture's honestly thicker. That one right there wasn't as thick, but it was pure glitter. This is like a thick Stone Journer VMAX card. Nice. So this is like a full art texture, guys. And it's a thicker card too. Like, honestly, it's probably way more. Max Rockfall and Stone Gift as the attacks. That is a beast of a Pokemon card. But technically, like, back-to-back -back full arts. But this is just a regular VMAX right there. Dynamaxed Stone Journer. 
So we got a Gigantamax and a Dynamax, Dynamax Pokemon. What the heck is going to be in this one then? Stone Journey is a beast. I love that card. I'm really, really psyched with those two pulls, okay? That was all I was pretty much gunning for. I was like, if I can just get a VMAX this, uh, this part, I'd be happy. Got it. Sudowoodo, Energy Search, Meowth, good old Score Bunny. Then we've got Maractus, Pikachu again, Claydol. Then we double up on that Raichu, regular rare. All good in the hood. So I think, yeah, we're going to get probably a couple more solid greens, but I also predict that's a ridiculous amount of really good pulls. Um, I predict we're going to get a couple of holo cards. Kingla, Hyper Potion. Then we're going to Wooloo. Look at that cute artwork. You notice there's like the same Pokemon, but with two different artworks. I've seen that with a couple of Pokemon in the set. Blitblug, Mudsdale, regular rare. Look at that. Epic that just running. Mudsdale gone for the wind. Saw McDonald's was open. He's like, all right, Happy Meal. I'm coming for you. Let's go. Four from the back. Swing it around. Lightning type energy. Raboot. Good old hop right there. Blitblug, Rhyhorn, Minchino, Krogunk, Minchino. Is it the same thing? Look at that. Same Pokemon. I mean, different card. Then that Snorlax, regular rare. Kind of dig that though. That's so classic. We got a Rainbow Rare Snorlax. Or a VMAX Rainbow Snorlax, I should say. So with the pulls that we got, who reckons we got more stuff coming up? Or do you think that was it? Do you reckon Ando's burnt all his luck right at the beginning? Or do you think we have a couple of mixed spicy nuggets coming up? I mean, if I was predicting, I'm going to say we got one more VMAX coming up. Um, if we're... Ooh, Holo Professor's Research. That's definitely a Rainbow Rare in the set. See? I haven't got a trainer Rainbow Rare-esque thing yet. So maybe one of those. Yeah, I reckon... Oh, okay. My prediction is one more VMAX. One more V card. Two more Holos. That seems about right. It looks like we've got roughly about seven or eight boosters to go. So we've got a fight type. Energy switch, because that would make a pretty good booster box, in my opinion. They've got to make it pretty good. you got to think about it. Being the first ever set, dub wall reverse? That is sick. Oh, sorry. All right, I get distracted. Being the first ever set, like a base set of a launch, you're going to you're gonna want to entice people to go buy the box, right? Because if people have gone, you know what? You know, like the end of X and Y, the end of Black and White, they sort of tap out. They go, you know what? I've done the whole generation. That's where I call it. My wallet's kind of hurting with Pokemon cards. If they make the base set of the next set really good, they go, oh, I guess if it's a good pull ratio, I'll buy another box. Then they get back into it. So that's my sort of theory anyway. That's why I think this box may have above average kind of pulls. Just in the booster box though. I think for other products, it looks like pretty difficult stuff. Stone Journey V card. Nice. So we've got the V Max and the V as well. As I predicted, another V card in the bag. That's a V card I've seen a whole bunch in Japanese. We got it guaranteed with the theme decks. Pulled it at least three times, I reckon, in the booster boxes. Um, and that card looks identical. And yeah, there's a bit of embossing, but not ridiculous now. I do love, though, that they have put a bit more thought and energy into those rare cards, like Stone Journey V-Card. A V-Card is a good pull. So they might as well like emboss it, might as well make it look good. Snom, and then Cloister, regular rare. Okay, looks like we got about five booster packs to go after this bad boy right here. So I'm gonna get you to the side. It's another white and green. There's the code card. Let's go four from the back, swing it around. Psychic type energy. Can we get something ridiculous? Potion. Then we're going to Hitmonchan, Laloon, La Glarian Ponida. Can't skip over those exclusives, boys. Minchino, Sobble, the Blip Blug, Sobble again in reverse form. Nice. I think, I'm 100%, I, I will be wrong, I'm totally fine with that, but I think this is one of the pre-release cards. So if you see pre-release cards go up on the internet, it's like, got a logo here of Sword and Shield on this exact card as a holo form. I think so. Um, but yeah, nice, uh, nice looking holo card right there. Now we're on to the final five. What was my prediction? One more holo, I reckon, and maybe a VMAX as well. Frost Moth, I hope you're providing the goods right now. So we've got a metal type energy, big charm. The Wacky, love that. Blip Blog again, Baltoy, Wooloo, Joltik, Salandit, Lucky Egg, Durant. Okay, boys. We're gonna Zacian. That's another. You know what? If I can somehow nab another legendary dog to go opposite my Zamazenta, we're gonna be cooking with gas. All right. 
So we're going to water type energy. Pseudo water. I'm actually looking forward to this recap now. Because it's going to get... Yeah, dude, we pulled an absolute stack here yesterday. So to then come in with our two ridiculous glitter cards today. Oh man, it's going to be sick. If you have not demolished the like button for part number two, definitely do it. Because that was a, such a good start. This is another white and green, by the way. Darkness type. Salazzle. Metal Saucer. Rotom Bike. Classic. Ponida. Minchino. Oh gosh, what was that? None other. Dude, are you kidding me? It looks so good. Full Art Lapras V. Plain Jane and Simple. This is literally another card that I had no idea that I wanted to pull, but now I see it. I'm like, thank gosh we pulled that because it's an absolute banger. Body Surf, Ocean Loop, 210, with 210 HP on the top two. Wow, that's like three full arts in one box. I don't think we had any opening like that for Cosmic. Dead set. When can I open up another box of Sword and Shield? Let's be honest. It has to be ASAP. Lapras V, Full Art. You go at the back. So that's got casual Full Art texture, like I would have thought it would. It's those other random cards that they've just blown me away with. That glitter, I will never be the same again. Like, I've witnessed peak Pokemon form. Could you imagine the base set, like, way back in the day if it came out with glitter cards? Like, you bought a Charizard holographic glitter? Man. Oh, I tell you what. I, oh, jeez. Oh, Young Ando would have fallen off his seat. Krabby? Galarian? Zigzagoon? Potion? Regular rare. That's completely fine, because on the final ever booster pack of my first ever base set Sword and Shield booster box right here, we're gonna get something crazy. We're gonna get an insane pull. Wait, are we gonna get an insane pull? It's like, where's, there's cards in there. It's the recap cards. All right, let's open up this bad boy. Put you to the side. There's the code card. Hopefully you guys are getting good stuff in the codes whenever you can put them into the computer. I'm not 100% sure. Lightning type energy. Hyper potion. Then we're gonna team yell grunt. Hitmonlee. Glossifer. Silicobra. Yampa. Krabby. Qfunt. Durant and a Drapion regular rare. Wait, 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 wait. Got a bit of a spanner in the works. It turns out when I rattled the booster box before, I thought the extra cards were in here, but I already had the recap cards out. Behind the back of the booster box was an extra booster. How fun! So we get to do one more boost back. I think the most ironic thing about all of this, it's a Zassian artwork, and that's the card. I really wouldn't mind pulling in like any sort of form ever, but oh my gosh, of course it has to be a white and green as well. There's the magical last code. I'm sure that one's going to be a banger. I can't even count the four. That one will be a banger. Let's see what we can't get. We're going to fighting type. Salazzle, Bishop. The best part about this is we can add it straight to the recap. Wulu as well. Grookey. The sword and shield fun just never ends. Professor's research. And then, oh my, it shows how many V cards are actually in the set. So talk all V card right there. Um, let me add it to the uh, recap. And then this right here is the recap. Or like, look how much you get in one booster box. Pretty good in my opinion. For the base set, we actually did really, really well. So let's count this out. How many holy cards did we get? One, two, got three with Rillaboom, four with Professor's Research, and then five. So five different holy cards. How many, how many V cards did we get though? Torkoal V. Then we get that Wild Buffet V from the first episode. Sableye. Zamazenta looking really, really good. Stone Journer. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, five V cards. And oh my gosh. Five V cards and V in like Roman numerals is five. That's funny. Anyway, so five V cards, five holy cards. Then we get a full art Lapras. One of those bad boys. You gotta tell me what's your favorite looking card in the whole set? Then we get a Stone Journer V Max card. Looks fantastic. We actually got two V Maxes with this sparkly as glitter filled Snorlax. It looks absolutely gorgeous. You gotta, you gotta tell me though. Out of everything that we saw this episode or like throughout this booster box, what was your favorite? What are you most excited for? I think we could open more Pokemon cards and get more of anything that has glitter on it because clearly Pokemon are doing something right. I think they've invested a lot more money into making the card physically like. Not only attractive, but like, you can see the visible difference. Those clouds or whatever they are, the trees, they look like brains. Anyway, so yeah, I'm stunned. I'm really happy. I think you guys know that already. 
Um, let me know, thumbs up the video if you really like the set. In the comment section below as well, let me know what you love and hate about it as well. And if you're picking it up, good luck to everyone opening their boosters. I want you to tweet me your polls, Instagram, DM me, let me know, tag in photos. I love seeing what you guys get. Good luck, have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for Drake and Rose for uh, getting me the booster box. But most of all, gonna keep on gaming. Alright guys, next time, see you then.